Hello, my name is Adrian with Applied CAX, and in this quick tutorial today, we're going to talk about uh, linear contact with FEMAP and NX Nastran. The overall outline of the tutorial is like this. We're going to do the workflow, setting up your properties, your regions, and your connectors. Now, the properties, fairly straightforward. We'll start with the default. The regions is really the tricky part. That's where most people get hung up or run into problems. And the connectors, they're pretty easy as well. Uh, we're going to run it. We're going to see a few issues here, and we're going to try and fix those issues. The model that I'm going to be working with is all ready to go besides contact. We've got a couple of tubes, uh, pinned connections here, so those were, act like pivots. So without contact between the two parts, when we push down here, these things would just spin about the z-axis. So we actually need contact between the two parts to stabilize the model. I'm going to do all this from the model info tree. From connections here, I'm going to start with properties. And I always start with the defaults. We'll just give this a title, something like frictionless contact. And that's it. Next is the regions. Like I said, these are usually where the problems occur. New connection region. I'm going to use the default method, which is by geometric surfaces. I'm going to make sure I have pick front, and I'll just pick the four surfaces that make up this inner tube here. If you want, you can click in this window and highlight them. And then I'll do the same for the outer tube. So I have a surface with no thickness, and I have a plate element, a 2D plate element. I'm not really sure which side of the plate element is going to be used, so I'm going to show you how to check that. All right. I like to use this trick right here. I expand, I right click, and say Show Expanded. And it helps to have the thickness turned on. And it's going to show you which element face the solver is going to use. So for this inner tube, it's using the outside faces. So that will, that's what we want. For the outer tube, it's also using the outside faces. That's not what we want. We want the inside surface of that tube. You can change this by saying reverse, and there you can see it's now using those inside faces. So we've got the right side of the right element. Last thing we need here is a connector to tie everything together. We select our property, and we select our connection regions. And at this point, we can create a analysis, and we can analyze. <clears throat> now, one of the problems is, especially with concentric cylindrical surfaces like this, is you're taking a smooth, round surface, and you're turning it into a discrete, faceted surface. So you'll end up with areas where the elements have gaps and where they have overlaps. You can see right here, the elements are overlapping. Now, the solver is going to try and force those apart. So let's look at our deformation and our contour. And you can see we get extremely high stresses. And you can see that uh, if we animate this, it's forcing those overlaps to disappear. Now, in reality, we don't have that interference. So we want to have the solver ignore that interference. So let's turn this off. I can do that from the connection properties. I'm going to go ahead and say edit. And this initial penetration here, I want to ignore any initial gaps and initial penetrations. We'll run it one more time. This is really common for any sort of pin and clevis or concentric cylinders like we have here. It's a very useful way to uh, clean things up. There we go. So now we have peak stress on the top and the bottom. We can go ahead and exaggerate our deformation. Let's go ahead and scale this up quite a bit so we can see what's going on. There we go. Things seem to be behaving nicely. All right. Uh, if you guys want to use more linear contact, 
Um, we have some more in-depth walkthroughs on our website, AppliedCX.com. We've got these technical seminars, they're about an hour long, and we go into a lot more details and background and provide much more examples. So if this is something you guys are going to use, log on, check it out, and feel free to get in touch with us if you have questions. Thank you very much.